Good morning. Oops. I'm just trying to pull this all together here. Ah, there we go. Good morning. Welcome, everyone. Welcome back to the KR Daily Transmission. What's up? How are you? Feel free to say hello, write in. Good morning, Ross. Ross is sharing. Um, this is the first time on the chat. Love that. Good morning, Christian. Hi, Dina. Hi, Sophia. Good morning, Julie. Uh, Trinité is writing in from, I'm assuming, France, because there's bonjour, bonjour, bonsoir. Um, <laughs> um, Sunhearted is writing in. I'm so glad to be here with you. I just watched your replay from Friday and yesterday, and I want you to know I am alongside with you. Thank you so much. The outpouring of support um, that I've been reading and um, receiving from that YouTube video on Friday it means so much to me. Um, it's it's so good to know. Uh, that we are such an authentic gathering of souls, community of souls, and that just means the world to me, our support. Thank you. And that we're leading this movement together. Uh, Chelsea, one of our, uh, Chelsea Kyle, she's going to be featured as one of our interviewed Sophia Circle leaders next week. She's sharing, she's feeling all the feels this morning. I'm right there with you, Chelsea. So welcome back to the KR Daily Transmission. You can be here with all of your feelings and all of your glory. At the same time, um, I was kind of working out a headache because it's that time of the month for me and I wasn't feeling so good this morning. So thanks for your patience. Um, and I'm really happy to be here with you now feeling a little better. And watching in from France, Taryn, who's one of our team angels, is here in the chat today. She's happy to answer any questions for you that you might have about anything coming up. And um, yeah, so Today, we're going to continue our conversation about strength and courage from Mother Mary's section in the Sophia Code in chapter nine. And we have been working yesterday. We started to drop into the section called Walking the Way, a very powerful section from Mother Mary. Um, and I think a lot of people associate the words the way with Jesus and Mary because of the Catholic and Christian context, but um, there's a lot of people that don't know that the way is actually from Taoism. It's actually a term that comes to us from ancient Asian cultures that were focused on the power of source consciousness flowing through us and how the technology of our body could help us to walk the way, meaning walk in the path of self-realization and enlightenment supported by all the different principles of God consciousness within us. And so it's really cool um, that we're exploring walking the way today. And um, because this is what the Sophia Code does. It shows us the connection of all of the Sophia Sophia lineages, Sophia Christ consciousness lineages, and how they ultimately work together as one for the activation and the empowerment of humanity's sovereign divinity. And most importantly, if those words are just like, who cares about all of humanity? I'm having a hard day today for the empowerment of your heart, for walking um, consciously, uh, whether you are feeling like it or not, into your own self realization, into your own journey of embodied enlightenment which is yours to have every day because enlightenment is a consciousness that already exists within you and so we often associate that word enlightenment with more eastern paths of spiritual practice such as buddhism and hinduism and today i'm wearing the maha avatar babaji omega pendant that i designed there's dragon scales carved into the back of it and the bell is a white cobra scale bell. And when I wear this pendant, I feel so much peace. I feel no matter what I'm emotionally uh, walking as I walk the way, what, no matter what I'm emotionally feeling or no matter what I might be physically going through, I just feel so connected to the peace of that divine 
masculine, um, you know, yogi Christ lineage. And, and also that yogi Christ lineage is of course connected to the feminine as well with the Dakinis and green Tara. So this, what is that yoga? What is it? What does yoga really mean? The yogi path of walking the way it's, the path of awakening to God consciousness within your body. It's that your devotion to divine love. It's your devotion to God where you awaken to the yoga, which is like the daily practice of, of remaining focused on divine love, remaining focused on your communion with whatever you call God or source consciousness. And that that devotion, that commitment is going to help you access all of the resources that you have inside of you for staying true to that path. And over time, that divine union in your consciousness with you know, the, the, the divine consciousness of your higher self, the creator, create tricks of all life that absolutely um, that exists within all things, like over time that conscious union starts to radiate out from your heart starts to radiate within all of your actions so that even when you have a moment where you feel like you're falling from grace and the, you know your very best effort could <laughs> might not be that great of an expression that day well if you if you're if you're choosing to walk the way of devotion and love chances are good your worst moments in your mind and your perception are probably far more regulated and balanced and delivered um, in a way that do the least amount of harm because this commitment and this devotion and this radiance um, that you are practicing in divine communion helps inform your very best, even at your very worst. Does that make sense? Because our ability to be in our highest potential is going to change every day. It's just like, I woke up, my body didn't feel good this morning. It wanted more rest. It wanted more time. It wanted uh, more care. And, you know, my, how I felt yesterday morning didn't, doesn't even match how I feel this morning, but that the grace is that my commitment to walking the way means that I can still show up, even if I'm not feeling like I did two days ago. And so it's, it's not about always being the same, always feeling the same, because that's impossible. When we walk the way, we are saying, my devotion to this path of self-realization, my devotion to embodying this higher self-consciousness, my devotion to um, honor the divinity within myself and all beings, it means I'm going to resource the help, ask for support from my guides, from my guardian angels, from my higher self, most importantly, from the source and to show up and to express, you know, whatever needs to be expressed in its most, in its greatest authenticity with divine love, with respect, um, with consciousness. And again, there's going to be days where you feel upset, where be, if you're walking the way, you might blow your lid a little bit and just be like, something that you say might not be delivered exactly as you want it to be delivered, but it's probably going to be more regulated and kinder than you than if you hadn't been committed to walking the way. And so the question that we ask ourselves when we when we are mentoring with the ascended masters, when we are committed to walking the, the way, the question is. Can I love myself? Can I forgive myself? Can I be compassionate to myself? Can I honor myself for however I am showing up today to the best of my ability? As this prayer, which is a consciousness of divinity within me, keeps lifting me up higher and higher, even as all of the feelings and all of the experiences of being human may feel like a hot mess. <laughs> Can I find the diamond within that hot mess experience and honor myself there? So I, I, I feel as though a lot of light workers have this idea that being truly authentically committed to your spiritual path means you're always going to feel like you're 
walking on, you know, in a field of daisies. And there are for sure moments where you feel so connected to heavenly consciousness and heavenly realms that it does bring great grace and upliftment to, to your direct, you know, your daily experience of life. But there's going to be other moments where that, that communion with divinity is just simply helping you get through your day in a better way than you might have been getting through your day a couple of years ago. Helping you to stay steady, faithful, committed, willing, available, kind to the best of your ability. So this passage I'm going to read today from the Sophia Code comes from that section, Walking the Way. And today we're going to read from page 170. And this is, again, the words of Mother Mary, who was an incredible yogi. She had such an incredible practice. Um, her devotion to the Divine Mother, to God, was so absolute. And she practiced that devotion, that yoga of devotion to all of her loved ones every day and her community and in her leadership. So this is these are the words of Mother Mary from the Sophia Code. Mother Mary shares, I courageously walked away as my daily practice. It wasn't a practice that happened when she felt like it. It happened every day. I courageously walked away as, as my daily practice, remaining steadfast along its spiraling pathway of rigorous initiation throughout every vulnerable moment of my human experience. Oh my God, we could unpack that sentence for like an hour. I'm going to read that one more time. I courageously walked the way as my daily practice, remaining steadfast along its spiraling pathway of rigorous initiations throughout every vulnerable moment of my human experience. My early self-mastery and the teachings of the rose prepared my young heart to become a chalice for the Holy Spirit to overflow with Sophia's light and direct revelations. It was my life commitment to walking the way that guided me in the fulfillment of my destiny as a birther of a new paradigm for Sophia Christ consciousness, embodying key code four of the Sophia code for this planet. I'm gonna keep going and read this next paragraph. Humanity deified my key code embodiment of Sophia because my daily commitment to walk the way in every moment of my life created an unforgettable legacy of love. In my sovereign free will, I chose to live in my highest potential every day, which created a legacy for the miraculous empowerment of many future generations to come. And so here we are now, connecting over 2000 years after my ascension. Simply put, I chose to show up and be fully present to the purpose of my human life even greater acts are possible than this for your own legacy of love if you believe and follow the way of your own heart in the extraordinary opportunity of this lifetime. Oh my gosh, I feel so good reading those words. How do you feel connecting to Mother Mary and her reflections about walking the way? If you'd like to share in the chat, I'd love to read your reflections. So, I love this statement from Mother Mary. She's sometimes she's so blunt <laughs> when I channel her. I'm just like, wow. Simply put, <laughs> I chose to show up and be fully present to the purpose of my human life. I love how clear that is. She's associating her legacy of love as showing up to her and to be fully present to just life, her human journey. That became, it was, she became so present and so clear and so available within every present moment of her life that it, it built a legacy of love that we are still learning from. <laughs> Jen's writing in, this is amazing to think that we are here to do beyond what she did, yes. Thank you for making that connection. Thank you for highlighting that in the chat. That's exactly right. I think very often 
because walking the way of our daily practice can at times feel tedious and as though wondering like, where are we going with this? What is happening? And, and it is the daily embodiment that does lead to the breakthrough miracles, both for ourselves individually, but also as a community. Um, I love that you're pointing out that Mother Mary is saying, hey, the more each of you continue in this journey with us, the more you're going to realize what you can co-create together that goes beyond what we did in our movement on earth. That's huge. We felt that at the Sovereign Spiritual Leadership Immersive in Austin two weeks ago. We truly felt the future of this movement and the future is huge. It's so exciting to feel what's coming for all of us. And I want to thank each and every one of you that are choosing to step up into Sophia Circle Leadership. Um, our certification program starts this September. And as I've shared um, both at the event and multiple times here on YouTube Live, like that's the future of our movement. Those are the people that I'm choosing to collaborate with, the people that are dedicated to the Sophia Code teachings, to Sophia Christ Consciousness, that have done the training of the curriculums and the certification program, because I can work with those people. Those are the people that have chosen to um, truly awaken Christ Consciousness within themselves, learn how to regulate in their own spiritual journey, and then identify um, that they are sovereign co-creators with the source, which means my my opportunity to serve and lead side by side with you becomes a lot easier. I'm not attempting to break through barriers and resistances that have already been clean, cleared out by those programs, already been cleared out and resolved um, through walking through the certification program, going through every class in the Stargate 1 and Stargate 2 curriculum. That's why those mystery school cur curriculums and programs are there. It's so that I can work with you and co-create and lead with you and collaborate with you on a much deeper level. Uh, because very often when people come to me without that background and that education, they don't even know what they're doing. They, don't, they, they, think, they think they want something from me, but they don't even know what they really need for themselves. It's very strange. So this is why we talk about being initiated by the Ascended Masters. It's because there's so much of our ego structure and wounding that we have to resolve as we step up and aim to the incredible power of embodying Sophia Christ consciousness. It's an enormous responsibility. And, you know, we want to walk in this movement with those who walk humbly with that power and who are, you know, have that that training to know how to collaborate beyond hierarchy, to know how to co-create through the equanimity of our equal and shared sovereign divinity. And we have several of our Sophia Circle leaders that are sharing right now in the chat so that you can connect with them about the subject matter. And so that certification program is designed to really burn out, um, to really support you in burning through what's really been holding you back from your sovereign spiritual leadership and from being able to connect with other individuals that are genuinely walking in their sovereignty, not just saying they are. So I want to go back to this um, passage really quick before I close. Um, and I love, there's some really important words that Mother Mary is asking, um, asking us to highlight. Number one, the very second word in that sentence, I courageously, right? We're talking about strength and courage. She could have chose every, any other word there, but she chose courage because walking this path of her leadership every day and living in her divine purpose did require an enormous amount of courage. Mother Mary lived at a time where women um, could have been stoned to death for any reason at all, depending on um, the insanity of the suffering of the people. And to choose to be vocal, to choose to be a leader, to choose to be seen as a leader in a female body was a really big deal for both her and Mary Magdalene. So when she says that she courageously stepped into her leadership, she's not using that word lightly. She's using it because I'm sure there were plenty of times where her body shook with fear, but that she was steadied by the presence of God within her and all around her. And so 
that courage became a part of her daily practice. What's the next word that really stands out to me? Remaining steadfast. The energy of steadfast, the, res the resonance of steadfast is when you align your practice, your daily practice of prayer and meditation, mentoring with the Ascended Masters, with that st the steady angelic wings of source consciousness, where you are allowing yourself to be supported and carried while you also show up and co-create your empowerment with that source consciousness. So when we align every morning with source, with the power of God within us, with the consciousness of our higher self and the spiritual technology of our bodies, what we are saying is, yes, I'm having a human experience, but I am tapping in to the unlimited power of divinity within me and I will rise and I will re remain steadfast in my devotion to this communion that I'm in. I will remain steadfast with my spiritual intention for this day, for this week, for this year. I, re I will remain steadfast as a sovereign creator. Steadfast me doesn't mean you're not going to have feelings. In fact, steadfast is an active divine principle, very much like courage. The word steadfast and the word courage or courageous are, they're in response to fear. They're in response to anxiety. They're in response to, um, you know, dragging our feet or feeling like we don't, you know, we might want to give up. They're active like verbs, they're active, they're adjectives, they're, they're, they are describing you know, how we are going to step up and respond to the rising and falling of our daily experience. So when you choose to focus on the word steadfast, what you're saying is, I know I'm going to have a whole lot of feelings about my divine purpose. I know I'm going to want to fall on my face at times around my human, you know, integrity and embodiment, but I will remain steadfast and keep directing my gaze back to my higher self, back to the, the divine light within me that knows how to choose higher. I'm not doing it alone. I will remain steadfast to that which is within me that will take me higher. And I will do my best to follow that consciousness within me as I walk the way, right? Your divinity is the guide. It is the teacher. It is the guru within you, the master teacher within you that is guiding you on this path as you walk the way. The next word that I want to highlight from Mother, on behalf of Mother Mary is the rigorous initiations. We talk about this a lot in the Sophia Code in chapter four and five. It, we Just like yesterday, how I shared, like there's no final destination for your spiritual journey. There's no final destination with... Our initiations, like this is why they talk about the spiral path of the unfolding rose in Mother Mary's chapter. It's like when you open your heart and allow yourself to be initiated by life, when you really are paying attention to the lessons that you are learning, to, to the what you are healing through, what you are empowering yourself beyond, what you are releasing, these are all initiations. And they lead to more initiations. And what is an initiation? It's a willingness to become very conscious about mom moments, chapters, stages of growth and development, as well as the integration that is required for embodying the breakthroughs, embodying um, the learning experiences so that they become wisdom. So it becomes a knowing system within you that can then open the temple gates to greater initiations of empowerment for you. And sometimes we can circle back to similar initiations over and over and over again until we really understand what we're learning about. So the more consciousness we can bring to these daily initiations of personal growth, transformation, fulfilling our spiritual intentions, um, what happens is, especially when we mentor at the Ascended Masters, we, we learn how to become steadfast and faithful to the rigorous nature of those initiations. Everyone says, I want to live the most beautiful, powerful life. And it's like, are you willing to live 
in this space of being rigorously initiated because that's how you achieve this level of mastery. It's when you stop keeping count and you just say, I am here to live in, in, in the education, in the university that life is providing for me here in this lifetime. I'm going to st- stop keeping count and I'm going to start becoming more present with my breath, with my opportunity to unconditionally love myself and others, with the opportunity to become really present with this, the places and spaces within me that are reacting instead of responding. And I'm going to forgive myself and, and, and keep moving forward and keep doing my best every day to rise higher. This is part of walking the way. The final piece that I want to share from Mother Mary's perspective is that she said, throughout every vulnerable moment of my human experience, being human is vulnerable. We feel scared. We feel anxious, we feel afraid. That's part of the human experience at this time on the planet. And when you can say to yourself or to another, I feel scared, I feel anxious, I feel afraid, I feel confused. That vulnerability is so powerful. Number one, Everyone else feels the same way too. Number two, it allows other people to step into their empowerment and meet you in that space of genuine and authentic um, connection. When you say those feelings, you don't, you're not asking anyone to fix you, hopefully, because that would be codependency. What you're sharing is, this is where I stand in this vulnerable human moment. And I would like to go higher. I would like to go deeper. I would like to go, I would like to remain steadfast. Are you joining me here? Or are you checked out and unavailable? It doesn't matter what the other person's response is or the community's response is. You know, I could have shared what I shared on Friday and our community could have gone sideways and just been like, Can't believe you showed up and did that, Kyra. (laughs) But that's not what happened. I trusted the vulnerability of the moment. And I thought people are going to get this. They're going to get this. And people who are not, they're not going to get it. And it wouldn't matter how much I tried to explain it. And it's not that it's not important who gets it or not. It's important that I share from that space. And that's the vulnerability that mother mary is talking about it's just like when we are empowered enough to share i feel afraid or i feel unmet in this moment and here's an opportunity to rise with me or to walk away but this is where i'm standing in my vulnerability this is what i'm asking for this is what i'm leveling up to this is where i want to co-create with you this is where i want to respond to life from. This is where I want to honor life from. This is where I want to celebrate life from. This is where I'm grieving life from. This is where I am. And when we're really honest about where we stand in our authenticity in in every present moment, it really opens the doors of communion with others where they recognize they don't have to run from their authentic human experience and how vulnerable they feel. And we get to realize and identify that our shared vulnerability is what is connecting us in our empowerment. It's what's revealing to us how we can love one another better, show up for one another better, to have more fun with one another and co-create a bliss with one another, even as we are grieving with one another, even as we are expressing our anger with one another. Do we see here in this moment with Mother Mary opening our heart, it is the honesty, the authenticity, the genuineness of every present moment that we are learning how to walk the way with that brings us our greatest power and our greatest empowerment with one another through sovereignty. We don't have to fix anybody's sadness. We don't have to change it. 
what we can do is we can create space for everyone to be exactly where they are. And to also be the invitation for where we can go. It's really cool stuff. Walking the way with Mother Mary and the Ascended Masters. Let's close together with a little bit of a prayer. Thanks for all of your beautiful messages in the chat. It's so nice to see everyone growing closer together, celebrating one another, taking this time out to be in community in our daily practice. Oh, Holy Mother Sophia, Holy Father, Sophia Source, we give thanks for the sacred text of sovereignty. We give thanks for the Sophia Dragon Tribe. We give thanks for all of the Ascended Masters, the Angelic Orders, the Star Nations, that are serving and supporting our collective awakening. Thank you, Divine Mother, for every community member here, both new and those who have been carrying the torch of sovereignty with us, the sacred flame of sovereignty with us over the past six years. Thank you for all of the powerful movement that is happening for this movement worldwide. Thank you for all the breakthroughs that our team has experienced even just over this past week since returning from Austin. Thank you for all of the breakthroughs and empowerments that we are witnessing with our Sophia Circle leaders. Thank you so much for every single soul that has chosen to be a part of our mystery school and the Heaven on Earth Prayer Collective. I pray for your consciousness to bless and prosper every single soul reaching higher within their hearts to really embody their divinity and their sovereignty in this lifetime. I welcome the presence of Mother Mary, beautiful Mother Mary, to come forward, to step forward from our circle of empowerment, and for us to receive that blessing from her heart to our hearts. Any healing energy, any divine interventions of grace that your soul, your higher self, may be ready to receive from Mother Mary. I invite you to visualize that. Remember we talked about the blue star in your heart? There's a blue, like a blue soul star that many members of our community have. I welcome you to just connect from that blue sun within your heart, growing brighter and brighter and brighter. And connect that with the sapphire blue energy of Mother Mary's heart. And then I welcome you to feel how each of our hearts are connected through that blue starlight. You may feel your golden dragon scales ripple. Maybe your chakras spin with a little bit of joy and delight. Maybe you feel the bridges of light that have been growing stronger from your divine genome to your DNA. Maybe you feel a little bit of tingling from your crown to your feet. We welcome the presence of Mother Mary, mentoring and guiding you as you walk the way of your higher self, one day at a time, one step at a time, one initiation at a time. And to welcome her support a little bit closer, maybe a whole lot more closer today. What would it be like to walk side by side with Mother Mary today as you walk the way? to let her guide you and share insights and wisdom with you about any question you might have. How would that change the outcome of your day if you allowed Mother Mary to be with you in your home or in your workplace? She's just one thought away. She's right there standing with you, supporting you, loving you. How do you feel the presence of your higher self amplified within every cell of your body? Connecting back to the very source of our life, Sophia, Divine Mother, Divine Father, God, and connecting to the very heart of the Mother Earth. Remembering that this is your source of power. You unplug from the matrix programming and you plug into your source, crown to root. You plug into this multidimensional support of the Ascended Masters that exist beyond this world and exist everywhere simultaneously. You take back your power. 
and you practice creating as you walk the way, creating through the truth of divinity within you, the unlimited prosperity consciousness that already exists within you, the enlightened spaces within you that already exists within you. As you mentor with Mother Mary, everything that is not really you is being released. As you learn how to accept and integrate and celebrate who you really are in this lifetime. Thank you, Mother Mary, for your unconditional love and your just such your heartfelt, deeply heartfelt support guiding each and every one of us today. We open up to the wonderful step-by-step -step opportunities of experiencing your, your grace co-creating with us. And we open up to the divine interventions of God, our guardian angels, and all of our guides and the ascended masters blessing us every step of the way. Special thanks also to Maha Avatar Babaji, Kuan Yin, and Paramahansa Yogananda, who I felt supporting this transmission this morning. I love you all so much. Thank you for liking this video to show your support of the Sophia Code movement. And if you're new to my channel and you're enjoying these KR daily transmissions, thank you for remembering to subscribe to this channel. Uh, this shows your support for these free um, daily opportunities to connect live and um, just means the world to me. Thank you so much. And I look forward to being with you tomorrow for the KR Daily Transmission at Kaira Official. Namaste. Bonsoir. Good night. Thank you. Have a beautiful day. Bye.